Okay, fine. Okay, so I I see that I am live. So okay, fine. So now let me just take this whole thing down. And uh, hi, hi everyone. So how are you all? So I hope that everyone of you are doing good. So I actually got a neck sprain. I can't see this side, and uh, because I can't see this side, it's paining so much, yar. Like, but I thought that like if I don't take a class today, um. Uh, because i'm having a neck sprain uh, you guys will hate me forever so iske liye mai bola ki yaar nahi kuch bhi ho jaye let's just go and take the class okay so that is the reason i'm sitting in front of you all so uh, uh, that's it so uh, hi let's start our whole learning so where did we uh, pause our learning day before yesterday i think we completed till operators and we have got uh, three more things to do in front of us number one is conditions in c++ that is if else uh, uh, condition second is uh, uh, loops okay so for loop and while loop those are the things and the third thing we have is like functions okay so these are the three things uh, uh, which we have got in front of us that uh, we need to get it delivered to every one of you so i have a question uh, for all of you guys are you guys okay that if we have a class tomorrow also okay how many of you are okay that uh, if we have a class tomorrow also so i i want to know that thing uh, right now kitne log aap mein se okay hai agar apan kal class rakhte hai to so i i i wanted to know that okay so please tell me in the chat right now i'm looking into the chat okay so uh, what time is fine for tomorrow's uh, class kal ke class ke liye kya time rehna chahiye batao wo cheez batao pehle and uh, what exactly uh, time that you you guys will be ha huh, let let's just meet and uh, uh, go ahead and have a class so what time will you guys be okay with okay so shweta hi shweta hi deepak hi dinesh uh, uh, hi sita how are you uh, i i hope that uh, uh, you guys are uh, uh, able to uh, understand are you guys are with me so thank you they are like 7 to 8 let's do 7 to 8 hey, do you have do we do we have any kind of match and all tomorrow i mean please tell me right now itself abhi bata do okay so let me just raise a poll in our uh, live chat uh, what time mai poll raise kar raha hu bhai fatafat just give me one minute okay what time should we have a, uh, have our class tomorrow one hour basically again one hour mm, let's say 11 am to uh, 12 pm that's one and uh, then we have got uh, 4 pm to 5 pm that's also an option then we have got 7 pm to uh, 8 pm okay maybe last thing like 8 pm to 9 pm okay so i am asking this question in the community section right now so you should be able to uh, uh okay you should be able to uh, go ahead and uh, uh, check this particular poll i can see 7 pm to 8 pm is receiving 39% and kya subah hai yaar tum log you guys are not okay with early morning time or what i mean i am i am okay i am super okay 11 to 12 na that was like khatam kar do so what time that you guys are okay uh, डी एस ए कहाँ से सीखे फुल सर स्टार्ट लर्निंग डी एस ए विथ माई ओन कोर्स दैट इज कमिंग ऑन दिस ट्यूजडे 
uh, Tuesday I'm having my DSA program launch um, okay so now how you guys can actually go ahead uh, mark your attendance download certificate and also submit your assignment okay so how you guys can do it so it's very simple go to the description in the description there is one link okay so uh, the very first link which you will see is a link that you need to click on wo link pe click karo and uh, you will be able to see one page okay wo ek page uh, uh, it is uh, let's upgrades one link page for uh, C++ program. You will see my image with C++ and all. Uh, just go ahead and uh, select day four and mark attendance. That's it. Okay. So let's just do it right now while I'm in this uh, whole thing. So I'm transitioning uh, uh, to the live session and in the description you will see one link you will open this particular page just go and mark attendance and uh, uh, okay here is one question that are you interested in six months uh, let's upgrade full stack program web dev or data science are you interested in that yes or no what is this program this program in this program if at all you want to genuinely give one try in your life uh, to becoming a software developer uh, let's upgrade provides six months long full stack program this full stack program promises you three things number one it promises you lots of interviews in 150 plus partner companies that let's upgrade has already with it number one number two you will be building 15 plus projects five of them are industry grade projects like netflix clones and uh, uber clones and amazon clones so very high level applications you will be building it from the scratch in a cohort of 15 to 20 people and the very uh, last feature but very important feature is you will be learning and getting mentored by a live industry developer who is working in uh, some kind of company like Infosys, uh, Wipro, TCS or uh, even we have people coming and teaching from Microsoft. So when people are coming from these all places they not only teach you up-to-date stuff they also mentor you for cracking jobs so these are the three things what let's upgrade promises you in our full stack program very affordable as compared to all the competitors uh, we have launched it for you to also get a pgp in your uh, uh, shoulder at the same time uh, you learn and you progress in your career. Don't worry if you are not able to crack uh, jobs. Don't worry if you see that recession is coming it and hitting us. Uh, how to survive in this recession, how to get good opportunities and all. Don't worry at all. You started learning with Let's Upgrade. Let's Upgrade is one of, like, one of the best things which you actually came up with. I can tell you that because you will come in touch with me and my team. And that is going to take care about your learning process like next level. So that's it, guys. Uh, just go ahead and click yes if at all you want to join this. And uh, if you want me to improve anything, give me that rating and submit. That's it. So this is the uh, process. For day five also, you will see uh, exactly like this uh, one more card. Uh, so based on everyone's uh, response, I think uh, we should go ahead and uh, uh, do our uh, tomorrow's last class at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Because I see that uh, uh, 11 uh, to 12 is having 32 percent, but 33 percent. Hey, it's now tie. I mean, 33, 33. Yar, abhi, abhi ye kya hai? It's it's a tie. So okay, let let me just leave it there. So for some more uh, for a few more minutes, then let's see it again one more time. Okay, so that's it. And you can register for my DSA Essentials, which is starting on this 22nd. So 22nd, if you see, it's basically a, a, a Tuesday. Okay, so just go ahead and uh, enroll into my own program that is happening on this particular... Where is it? where i am okay huh? so so here it is happening on 22nd done so 22nd you can actually just go hit enroll and uh, you will uh, you just have to enroll into this okay so i'll be teaching dsa along with a, a instructor along with me who is uh, provided okay so that's it thank you thanks a lot for listening to me uh, till now so let's just go ahead and uh, 
uh, get started with our learning okay what is this this is our ripple it and let me refresh our ripple uh, the very first thing that we are going to touch base today is if and else okay so the very first thing that we are going to touch base today is if and else how to make multi line comment control comment that's it uh so fine if else in c++ so why exactly uh, uh we need uh, uh why exactly we need uh, if else in our life okay why do we need if else in our life what do you think why do we need if else in our life okay so so the answer is very simple like hey if i get uh, uh, if i get okay if i get maximum votes for 11 to 12 pm uh, 11 am to 12 pm i will teach in 11 am to 12 pm if i get maximum number of uh, votes okay if if you if you have if you get maximum number of votes for 7 pm to 8 pm then i'll be teaching 7 pm to 8 pm very simple math okay which is there right now uh, in our uh, uh, comments to compare certain situations we need if and else okay in our life clear hai right okay boss every one of you you are with me yes or no so please tell me in the chat uh, how is this by the way this i got a gift today because it's a men's day aaj men's day celebration tha office mein and I, we got this uh, gift so are you are you with me for if and else tell me in the chat okay uh, uh, so navya is asking when can we generate our certificate after tomorrow's class you will be able to generate the certificate okay so i why i am not able to see your your uh, uh, particular chat did i do something uh, yes i think okay my live chat band tha iske liye fine theek hai so i i see that uh, uh, we have got uh, uh, right now answers coming in so yes if and else so what is let me just take int okay integer uh votes okay uh, let's say 11 oh sorry we can't uh, start a particular variable with uh, int uh, with a with a number uh so let's say time 11 am okay is equal to how many votes are there yaar kitne sare votes hain wahan pe kitne votes hai i don't know how many votes are there i think we got we got let's say uh, 34% let's say 34 okay and then we have got int time 7 pm is equal to uh, 32% okay so uh, so that's the uh, simple thing which we have in front of us if okay so th- how to how to compare these two things Uh, yesterday also we were doing it okay yesterday also day before yesterday also we were doing it put it in a parenthesis that square uh, sorry circle bracket circle round bracket round bracket uh, time 11 am is greater than time 7 pm okay then you need to have curly braces okay if this condition is true if this condition is true agar ye condition sahi hua okay agar ye condition sahi hua then actually go ahead and print see out okay uh endl we will take class at uh, what's that uh, 11 am okay and that's one and uh, uh, if you want to have a second condition if this doesn't happen we need to do some other that then that that's where you need to use else again semicolon and say c out and l okay uh, we will start at 7 pm tomorrow actually i think we are right okay so ye, 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 this is the this is the simplest if else boss which i have ever written in my life okay so it's very similar like c language okay but let's just go ahead and run this right now uh, so yep yeah. so so i don't know what's the voting so let's just go and see the voting uh, 33 30 hey this is this is like oh wow <laughs> i don't know till the till the live ends let's see uh, okay thanks for the confirmation sir no i'm not confirming anything okay i'll just go and i'll put 33 33 and let's see what happens okay so let's see what happens this will get confused and it will uh, say uh, 7 pm because 
it's neither a uh, true because because like 33 is not greater than 33 so it will go to the else block okay and now how to add one more condition if time 11 am is greater than time 7 pm we check that but one more thing we need to check is 7 pm is greater than 11 am yes or no okay mother sat budget joe voting votes for 7 pm are they greater than votes for 11 am Yes or no? So let's check that. Okay, how to do it? You have to put one more if, one more this, and uh, time 7 p.m. is greater than time 11 a.m. Okay, uh, I think I have done something wrong. Ha. So typo errors. And then again, I will have one more else here. So this is known as uh, uh, laddered if else. Laddered if else is if else if else if else so like three four conditions okay three four conditions okay uh, uh, again uh, i'll say see out and l kuch nahi pata bhai <laughs> kuch nahi pata bhai okay i don't know anything right now as of right now so let's run this now what will happen uh, because 33 and 33 both are equal this condition is also false. This condition is also false. That's why it is like saying, Kuch nahi pata bhai. Okay, is it clear, every one of you? Okay, tell me in the chat if you guys are uh, clear. Oh, clear, yes or no. Uh, I hope that, uh, sir, GitHub assignment link kya hai? Uh, see, uh, you have to upload your assignment on GitHub. Okay, so uh, what exactly you need to do is just go and create GitHub accounts. I'm yet to make my own uh, GitHub tutorial uh, for you guys to watch, but so, but, but, but I, I see beautiful uh, coding, uh, uh, code teaching uh, channels like uh, Code with Harry, um, Telusco. So these are the channels which I, I legit uh, look after too. So just go ahead and, uh, uh, and learn from there how to use github the very basics and upload your uh, cpp file there and give the link in our, your assignment that's it that's what the simple thing is okay please tell me your favorite tech learning youtuber in the chat so that uh, uh, i can also be very much aware of that so mujhe batao yaar, who is your favorite tech uh, learning youtuber uh, in the chat and uh, let's see who it is so by the way if else is clear if else if else is clear yes or no so please write down if else is clear in the chat if you if you if you want to say that okay so uh, i i I just forgot that today is International Men's Day or something. So when you all guys will get into jobs, uh, uh, probably most of you are already working somewhere or other. You will start seeing this one single day uh, that is International Men's Day. Instagram pe aajkal trending ho hai, but when I was in a college or something, no one used to celebrate these all things. But today, uh, but today I uh, it was very uh, odd that a uh, few few of my team members uh, they 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 wished me. Happy International Men's Day. And I was like, Aisa bhi kuch hota hai kya? I mean, I mean you, you have got something like this also? And you celebrate this? And you give gifts also for Men's Day? And I was like, Aaf stak to yaar bas Happy Women's Day yehi tha na? So I was like that, okay? So I don't know how many of you can relate to me in this particular example. So, so tell me in the chat uh, if, if at all you know about Men's Day uh, was being celebrated uh, till now if not okay uh, then you are like same pinch bro okay i've also realized it today fine so all the men all the boys uh, and men's out here like happy international men's day which you and me both will be like laughing but yeah fine okay let's get uh, get to the our learning process uh fine so now uh, time uh, okay so this is our particular if else block which we have done and uh, uh, yep yeah, let's just go ahead and comment it out okay if else is also completed now okay okay the next thing which we need to learn is uh, switch case okay switch case okay so uh, what switch uh, let wait switch switch huh. 
So what is basically switch? Okay, so when you have multiple if else, if else, if else kind of uh, stuff happening with you, okay, and uh, uh, you basically want to select one step, okay, either uh, X or either Y or something like that, and you will be using that time break, okay, break statement and all, okay, so, so uh, these are, this is a simple example of uh, uh, switch case okay so i will just go ahead and i'll write the same thing the syntax of switch is very simple where we use switch generally where uh, uh, you know more than two or more than three conditions are gonna be there okay like uh, uh, where many of the conditions are gonna be there and you can technical uh, i can show you one of my uh, uh, automation trees where what i do uh, i get data from the top and i have uh, based on basic uh, if else, if else, if else, if else, I have got seven to eight categories where I need to send data. Okay, so I mean, if there is a warm wala candidate, hai, hot candidate, hai, cold candidate hai, uh, uh, for let's say my uh, interviews and all. So I send them different kind of messages. So when in real life, when you want to cater uh, people in seven to eight segments, and uh, uh, you want to use if else kind of stuff there that time c plus plus asks uh, or requests you to use switch condition okay so yeah let's just go ahead and uh, uh, do switch s w i t c s switch case Every one of you are like giving me your favorite YouTube uh, channels out there. So amazing. Yaar. Uh, uh, very nice. Very nice. Thanks. Thanks a lot. So fine. And uh, I see that uh, my chat is running too late or what? I don't know why my chat is running too late. It's fine. TK. Let's just see. Uh, switch case. So INT. Okay. I'll take uh, month. Okay. I'll take month is equal to uh, let's say first what's the first month of the year <laughs> that's s w i t c h switch okay switch m o n t h month okay and uh, oh so match at galat kar raho bhaiyo i get into python right uh, uh, so my my biggest uh, uh, my biggest my biggest uh, downside is i code in two three languages and when i code it in like two three languages live i am i, I fail okay I, I fail to like differentiate and sometimes i forget okay so switch and then you have got case let's say one okay and uh, uh, you want to write down let's say c out it's jan okay and you want to do all of a sudden break here break case two okay see out feb okay like this you can actually give uh, uh, your statements so these are these are single liner uh, uh, outputs that's the reason i'm not giving any kind of uh, such curly braces else I would have uh, provided curly braces. Okay, either kya, like what's happening here is uh, uh, you can actually write down code like this and uh, it will work. Okay, this will work. So if you have multiple lines of code, you want to use a, uh, whenever you want to use an inner coding block, that time you just need to surround it with curly braces and uh, uh, it will uh, start, okay, it will start Jan Kaur kya bolte hai, uh, Hindi mein. What's, what's January known in Hindi? I am like uh, confused right now. Tell me in the chat. Okay, kya hota hai? What's January known, uh, known in Hindi? Jan ka matlab kya Hindi mein? I, I don't know. So you'd help me and till then I'll be waiting. Okay, so you can use a particular uh, curly braces if at all you want to for a, uh, for a inner, uh, for adding more and more lines. Okay. Right. So now let's just take case three. Okay. That's uh, C out. Endel. Uh, okay. I was not writing endel till now. March. Okay. And I want to break. 
आई थिंक या चैट इज रनिंग थोड़ा सा लेट टूडे आई येस आई एम राइट ओके That's it. So this is the simplest uh, uh, switch case. If at all you want to add multiple lines, use a parenthesis, and it will it will uh, use uh, curly braces, and it will work properly. Or else, like you can just just go ahead and write your code like this. Okay, and it's it's one of my favorite thing. But Python and other languages I have not seen uh, it any time. So Python it's not existing. I am for sure about it. So let's just run switch. Okay. So if if you are giving uh, That's one. Okay, if you if you are giving month is equal to one, uh, you have Jan. Okay, if you if you just give, uh, it's it's way too easy. It's super easy. Okay, it's it's super each easy. Just go ahead and uh, uh, do it yourself. Okay, and January को क्या बोलते हैं हिंदी में? Okay, I'm not yet seen that answer. <laughs> I'm like I I I uh, पता ही नहीं मुझे क्या होता है हिंदी में I, please tell me that's one open ended question for everyone so I think chat is running late so I can't I can see your uh, I'm saying as soon as you see this flower pot put a flower emoji in the chat so I know I get to know how much delay is there fine so it's done so please tell me. Okay, fine. So switch is also done. Now let's get to for loop. Okay, so what exactly loops are in our life? Okay, loops. अपने ज़िंदगी में क्यों exist करते हैं? Okay, for loops. Uh, basically loops first. I will first. I'll understand from you guys why why loops loops exist in our life. Please tell me in the uh, chat, every one of you. Uh, I want to know that so that uh, we can uh, uh, look after it. Okay, so I want to know why uh, uh, loops do exist in our life. So as chat is super delayed, so I'll just go ahead, restart this whole thing again. I think. Why chat? Uh, why loops exist in our life? Okay. Uh. Okay, I think uh, I can see your answer now. I don't know, Shivang. आपने कब type किया? What is it? So loop exists to repeat anything in our life. For example, you want to go from one place to another place. Let's say Mumbai to Pune, and uh, from Navi Mumbai to Pune, we have a very good express way out there. Um, you can go by Lona Wala. So if you if your destination is Pune. From Mumbai, you start driving your car. Okay, your dad's car or your car. You start driving your car, and uh, you exactly know, here until unless I don't reach Pune, I have to keep driving. Okay, I can't stop driving. Very simple, right? Until unless I don't reach Pune, I need to hit that accelerate button so that I reach Pune. Clear? So it's very, 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 very simple thing uh, in our life. Like the same way, until unless a specific task is not done, if you have to repeat a simple code block, जब तक आप जब अगर आपको कोई task करना है programming language के अंदर and जब तक वो task खत्म नहीं होता तब तक अगर आपको एक coding block बार 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 run करना है you use loops. Are we clear? So until unless your job is not done. Uh, and you have a very small uh, piece or like some piece of code okay which you have to iterate it over and over and over and over and over again until unless you don't reach the goal you have to um, uh, you have to keep on running that so that's where we use loops i hope that uh, uh, i hope that you guys are uh, clear about it till now in the chat please tell me fine Okay, so let's so in 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 uh, C plus plus we have got three different kinds of loop. One is for loop. Second one is while loop. The third one is do while loop. Do while loop ka syntax मुझे थोड़ा थोड़ा याद है. I mean it's exit control to loop. Rest both are like entry control to loop. I know that. Uh, but uh, uh, I just need to go and check once do while loop ka syntax. So let's get into uh, loops ASAP. 
okay so i hope that you are with me so i can't see any answers coming in so please tell me in the chat are you guys with me yes or no and uh, uh, is it because that i am my internet is slow or what it is fine uh, let's start for before starting i need uh, okay for int i is equal to zero okay then i have got i is less than 10 i plus plus okay so this is the standard syntax of for loop and uh, let's say c out and l i okay so until unless until unless you don't hit 10 okay this condition this is the initial pointer for a particular uh, number a initial pointer was number ka, and you have got this particular condition this is the condition that is i is less than 10 and you have got i plus plus okay so this is the simplest for loop ever in this world okay so let's just go ahead and run this and see what happens so you will see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so these numbers have been printed so until unless you don't okay so this is the now let's one more time focus on the syntax for uh, brackets okay for brackets i and t that's basically we are defining one integer i is equal to zero and uh, this is the target till here you need to run these these many times you need to run this for loop and at last you are saying increment uh, increment i with one okay because you know plus plus what plus plus does it increments the number with one so zero hai zero pehle print karega baad mein kya karega wo ek, ek number se badaega right clear yes or no clear are we are we clear yes or no so please tell me in the chat every one of you so that's the point now let's just see i uh, plus equal to uh, three okay i plus equal to we we learned about what is i plus okay assignment operator hai. this is one assignment operator which will uh, increment uh, the number with three steps so 0 3 6 9 clear 0 3 6 9 why this happened because we are using uh, a step up uh, assignment operator that is a step up by three kind of okay plus equal to upon use kar rahe hai, and you are seeing this here clear everyone of you Kalki class bhi YT pe hogi. Tomorrow's class will also happen on YouTube. So just please do subscribe and share this thing. And I, I often forget to say this. Please like the video if you are seeing this. I have got 110 students. I need 110 likes. Simple. Okay. Hisab simple. <laughs> so just do that. <laughs> okay. So now, uh, in the meantime, I have got 214 votes. So if 214 vote hai, uh, poll ke upar. And uh, yeah, what is this? 31% votes are for 11 a.m. in the morning, so we may uh, and 29% votes are for evening. It's a pura kaya pular diya. Fine, take a dick there. Kya hota hai. Okay, so uh, let's just go ahead and uh, uh, get to few other uh, loops. This is one for loop. Okay, this is the for loop syntax. Now you have got while loop. Okay, so for loops are very good. Where do we use for loops? For loops upon kaha use karte batao. So where can we use for loop? Where you know the end goal. Where you exactly know the end goal. Okay, where you exactly know the end goal. Are we clear about it? Where you exactly know the end goal, you can use for loop. But where you don't know end goal, jahan po end goal pata hi nahi hai, ki kaha tak jana hai. Kaise, kaise, uh, how will you, uh, 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 know key how many times this loop should work for example uh, my favorite example to explain while loop is uh, you all played pubg you all played ludo and you all played some or other game in your life right yes or no uh, yes or no so please tell me in the chat you all played pubg ludo counter strike uh, various games like various games right uh, these games uh, ask you, do you want to play again? Very simple thing. Do you want to play again? Do you want to 
play again after you lose or after you win the game okay eight ball pool let's understand let's imagine eight ball pool you all are playing in your uh, mobile phone and as soon as uh, you are uh, done playing that um, the game will ask you would you like to play it again so the 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 user will say either yes or either no right clear yes or a no 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 so as soon as uh, you hit that yes it's a while loop which will again play the game okay or else it will exit based upon the user's intent clear enough are we clear about it whatever I, example i gave uh, uh, please tell me in the chat every one of you i am uh, not seeing much of the answers coming in i'll again reopen my chat so that i can be very sure that i am not missing on anything okay yes uh try again oh wow you all guys are seeing it so that's that feature that feature works exactly on a while loop okay because it's controlled by the user dynamically okay uh, here uh, the programming language is handling it statically okay the goal is very much uh, known to the for loop at the very start okay but when you have something which is dynamic in nature that time you need to stop so let's just go ahead and uh, 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 just build that whole thing out okay int or like let's say care uh, wanna play again okay and uh, let's say yes yes is the by default thing why now uh, while wanna I'll, I'll play again equal to equal to y okay hey you need to have it inside this okay so my python ka adat na <laughs> so it will say that c out and l you are in the game okay so after that it will say one more time let's say two times it is printing the same text okay and then it says c in okay uh, c in what's that wanna play yeah i'll just copy this variable wanna play again okay simple clear and again i will have two three spaces in between so i don't uh, end l okay clear done so as soon as the statement is not equal to small y small y it, it will exit okay so let's just go ahead and run this thing okay uh, first you will see 0 to 9 okay so uh, you are in the game would you like to play again are you you know <laughs> i'll say why it will ask again why it will ask again why it will ask again as soon as i say something else like n it will stop okay it will stop clear sorted done okay so so i hope that uh, you are clear about this so c plus plus is used heavily for game development and this is one of the examples that gamers use uh, game developers use in their day-to-day -day life so let me just do you wanna play game why or sorry clear sorted i hope this is done samaj me aara hai na everyone of you are you able to understand right yes or no so this will keep on going on until unless you don't hit n until unless you don't hit n it will it will continue 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 clear i hope uh, this is sorted to every one of you out there okay so i just came here to watch how our indian people teach uh, uh, it's uh, okay got it and uh, 
ओके फाइन ठीक है सो लेट्स इज गो अड एंड गेट टू डू वाई लुप ओके डू वाई लुप इट्स ऑल इट्स एट फोर्टी ओनली सो वी आर वी आर एट अ वेरी गुड स्पीड टूडे आई डोंट नो सीता एंड ऑल कैन से अस हु आर बीन काइंड ऑफ बीन विथ दीज क्लासेस फ्रॉम द वेरी स्टार्ट ओके सी कैन टेल एग्जैक्टली सो डू वाइल का कंडीशन इज डू वाइल इज वेरियंट ऑफ वाइल लूप दिस लूप विल एग्जीक्यूट द कोड ब्लॉक वंस बिफोर चेकिंग इफ द कंडीशन इज ट्रू देन इट विल रिपीट द लूप एज लॉन्ग द कंडीशन इज ट्रू सो ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई आई एग्जैक्टली डोंट नो वेयर दिस इज बीन यूज सो लेट इज गो गूगल इट आउट वेयर एग्जैक्टली डू वाइल लूप्स आर यूज आर यूज वेयर इन real life maybe the best part is uh, uh i don't want to open quora on this uh, uh, forum so you in the meantime i actually write the code you go ahead and uh, tell me where exactly uh, do while loops are used in uh, uh, real life okay so let's just go ahead one by one uh do while loop as the w3 schools and everyone out there are mentioning do while loops are uh, one of the variations of while loops but the only difference between while loop and do while loop is do while loop will execute at least once okay but while loop will execute only when the condition is true okay i hope that is clear so let's just uh, go ahead and first say char okay uh, char uh, let's take one simple example like um uh, uh, i'm i'm just trying to think of uh uh क्या यार वेर वेर एग्जैक्टली कैन आई से डू वाई लूप इज देर सो आई गिव आई डोंट नो आई मीन इफ शुड आई गिव दैट काइंड ऑफ एग्जाम्पल ये सॉर एन नो फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ पर्सन हैज गॉट अ हार्ट अटैक इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू वॉट विल यू डू एज सुन एज यू सी सम वन इज गेटिंग एन शिट मैन इज दिस एग्जाम्पल इज नॉट गुड सॉरी बट ओके सो सो लेट जस्ट आई लेट मी से आउट ओके someone is receiving an ha- like someone in front of you has just got an attack very tension the very first thing you will do is like you will give cpr and i hope that what you, you i hope you know what cpr is just putting hands like this and pressing you do it for a while then you check for the response and then again you will do it yes or no so the very first instance is like yeah do it then dekha jayega what will happen then we'll see what happens right so that is one of the real time examples i can give i don't know what other examples i can come up with uh, i'm sorry but uh, very uh, stupid example but yeah this is one of the examples okay so uh, sir difference between loop and while uh, uh, syntax of uh, while loop hey uh, tanish uh, uh, tanish gupta uh, uh, we have just completed for loop ka syntax here and while loop ka syntax here the only difference between for loop and while loop is uh, for loop is static while loop is dynamic uh, dynamic means uh, dynamically while the program is running you get a chance to either run the loop or either stop the loop but in case of for loop uh, you exactly don't know uh, when uh, you, you you exactly know by when you want to stop it okay so yeah uh Okay, let's just go ahead and complete uh, do while. I'll just give integer a b is equal to ten. Okay, do fine do and then you have got while in this if a b is greater than uh, let's say let's say greater than ten. now your code will be written inside this c out and l i am running okay ab plus plus 
okay so then i want to print ab plus plus here also okay fine so i hope that we started with do while uh, i want to i want to comment out these all things so that we can just directly start running this code so my code is very simple what i'm saying is hey shit it's an infinite code stop <laughs> so see what's happening here is like i i i don't have a uh, uh, ab is greater than ab i need 11 so ab stops uh, 10 is greater than 10 okay that is uh, that was the scenario yahan pe 10 likhne se kya hota hai na so this becomes true because uh, because what will happen 10 is uh, technically 10 as per computer is less than 10 okay if you compare both the equal things it will always compare the stuff so what you need to do uh, uh, what you what you need to do is basically you need to always define something of greater value to stop it so uh, for, ex for example a b is uh, 10 10 is greater than equal to 11 is it the case then it will uh, check else it will just go ahead and plus plus I will run it one more time. Shit, what's happening? Ek uh, minute, stop kar dete pehle. What's happening? What am I doing wrong? Main kya galat kar raha What am I doing wrong? Mm, yes, I know what am I doing wrong. Okay, because I'm doing AB++, it is actually getting, uh, uh, it is actually getting plus plus. Okay. Uh, Sita, you are, you are very good at giving an example. I just uh, uh, saw your example. Go to bathroom to check door lock while uh, wait door lock, uh, door is locked. Oh, wow. So, so I know what exactly is my mistake. I need to do 12 this time. Uh, I mean, how many of you are with me uh, into this whole thing? Okay. Clear. Okay. So this is the piece of code that we have in front of us and i'm running this thing right now so yep yeah, i am running so this is running for at least once and then exiting what was happening here ki, uh, you have this particular piece of code which will run at least for one time 11 is not greater than or equal to 12 okay 11 is not greater than or equal to 12 as soon as you do first it was 10 Okay, first it was 10, but then you did uh, AB++, so it became 11. 11 is, great, is greater than or equal to 12? No, it's not greater than or equal to 12. That is the reason it will stop. Automatically it will stop. You start from 1, you go ahead and then you run it. So what you will see is, ek se leke das tak now ginta <laughs> Yes, or kyun ho <laughs> Why is this happening? Why is this do while happening? I told that, hey, uh, sir, I'm bored in session. Bye, bye, Shahnabaz. Okay, this session is for beginners like me and everyone out there. If you are not able to find value in this, join my other C++ advanced program where I'll go super fast. Okay, so AB plus plus 2 is not greater than equal to 12. Yes, I'm, I'm. I'll just change the values and all of a sudden this should work. Let's see how this works now. So yeah, so it's it's running like, hey, I'm running, 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 running. As soon as it's uh, 13, uh, it will stop. Clear? So now this is the do while loop that we have in front of us right now. Now, uh, I want to give you one small homework. Okay, I want to give a small homework. Okay, so homework that is today's assignment. Uh, today's assignment what's today's assignment assignment two okay use uh, for loop and while loop okay uh, to write a program in C++ for printing printing first 10 prime numbers 
okay so that's it so that's your that's your homework okay that's your homework that's your homework simple use for loop and while loop okay and while loop to write a program in, uh, uh, to write a program in c++ for printing first 10 programs for uh, 10 prime numbers okay clear sorted done so so that's the assignment for you all simple very simple assignment very simple assignment okay i hope uh, i hope that you are with me uh, till now okay so fine okay guys so finally after 257 votes which we had in our live class okay uh, okay uh, in our live class uh, our session is going to happen tomorrow <laughs> at the same time because i see 8 pm to 9 pm has received the 31 percent votes so we will continue doing our class tomorrow at the same time okay so 8 pm to 9 pm we will be attending live uh, learning functions and uh, um, we will be get started with building one game okay so get started this we'll finish that game also tomorrow Okay, functions is one and uh, and other people i mean like who want to join a i i, I hope that you guys would like to join a zoom and uh, uh, let's meet together and let's build uh, something uh, exclusive club of people kind of uh, all the my learners i want you all in my whatsapp groups um, a very exclusive whatsapp group uh, where we decide upon uh, various upcoming projects for let's upgrade so all the people who are interested to join that uh, so join tomorrow's session i will give you the link for my whatsapp group and uh, so yeah so tomorrow's session i'm going to do that okay so tomorrow's session I'll be sharing my WhatsApp group link, Sita, uh, uh, Tanish, Shweta, and a uh, uh, few other people who are super interactive. I welcome you guys uh, to be a part of it. Not only them, everyone of us. Okay, so be a part of my exclusive group where we will be deciding the future projects of Let's Upgrade, where we are on to building a close, amazing level of learning ecosystem from A to Z. That's where we are. Okay. So thank you guys. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Take care. Have a nice day. And uh, let's meet tomorrow at same time. That's 8 p.m. Okay. So that's 8 p.m. Let's meet tomorrow and take this. Thing. Okay. Fine. Chalo. Bye bye. Take care. I hope there's a very good pattern. See, yahan se start ho ke, aage no ja hai heart. So if I sit like this, okay, camera position is not right. If I sit like this, it's gonna angle out sometime. Okay, so I'm turning on the music. So bye-bye, take care, have a nice day, and let's meet tomorrow.